I'm Judy Zelina. This is the Mill Creek Government Channel. Linked by Pink is a local nonprofit organization consisting of Erie area survivors diagnosed with breast cancer before the age of 45. They serve an area within a 45 mile radius of Erie. And not only are they a resource for those diagnosed, but for the entire family as well. Their mission is to increase awareness while raising funds to provide emotional and financial support for local patients and their families. We have with us today Sarah Johnson. She's the managing director of uh, Linked by Pink, and Sarah is going to give us an overview of the organization and share with us the wonderful programs that they have available for the community. Thank you for joining us uh, on the Thank show. You. First time we've met. Yes. You're new to the organization. Yes, April of this year, new to the organization. Mm -hmm. We are so glad to have you here. Thank you. Now, Sarah, I was just wondering if you would mind sharing your story about your diagnosis with breast cancer and how you came to be with Linked by Pink. Sure. I was diagnosed last year in February, February of 2020. And um, of course, that's right when COVID had began. So I went to my first Linked by Pink meeting in March and then COVID came, all gone. So I, I couldn't continue with the group, but they were still there for me. I was diagnosed stage two um, induct, um, invasive ductal carcinoma to my left breast with um, lymph node involvement. So I had to do 16 rounds of chemotherapy um, a double mastectomy in Cleveland Clinic, and thankfully I didn't have to do any um, radiation, but all that during COVID. Um, I have a, at the time, 10-year-old and 6-year-old. My husband traveled for work. It was very, and Linked by Pink was always there. And so once I was done with treatment, I was like, how can I be part of this? It, they're wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So Sarah, you were going through all of this. You're getting your treatments. Now you've got COVID, which means your children are home now too. Oh yes. So they are learning remotely. Mm -hmm. What a challenge. Yeah. It, oh my gosh. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, it was nice that I got to be home with them. And she's but... here to tell the story too. <laughs> right, right. Yes, yeah. So anyhow, well, we're glad to have you here and I'm glad things are going well for you. Yes, thank you. So uh, Linked by Pink, I don't know if many people have heard about uh, heard of Linked by Pink, but maybe you could let our viewers know a little bit about the organization, give us an overview. Mm -hmm. Okay, Linked by Pink, they had started out in 2008. Um, two women just thought, we, we're too young for this, we need, what about our children? They had little ones at the time. Uh, mm -hmm. So they just started raising money to try and help out other local girls, and it just kind of blossomed from there. Um, we have donated since 2008. I haven't been part of it since then, but Linked by Pink has donated $382,000 within a 45 mile radius for women under 45 uh, since then. We also do gift bags. We have ones for under 45 and over 45 that are diagnosed. And it's like nice um, blankets and water jugs. And I remember, I thought it was the coolest thing. They gave me mine and it was, um, Things you don't think of, like thank you cards with stamps for people who care about you throughout the, your journey and that. <clears throat> um, we do the gift bags. We do, um, oh yes, the college scholarships. We've done over $38,000 in college scholarships. Awesome. For women whose children, or it could be their aunt, um, that are di um, directly um, affected by the breast cancer. If they're going to college, they can apply for that. Um, medical grants we do for women before the age of 50, potentially $1,000 towards medical expenses, 200 in gas, and 800 towards living expenses. Um, so say all your medical bills are covered, you can apply for your rent to be paid that month, or your, and it's just, it helps out so much because you need the days off of work when you're not feeling well after chemo, right? or the couple weeks after surgeries, that kind of thing. And after um, surgeries, we send gift cards to the families, you know, just to cover at least a night of mom doesn't have to cook or dad doesn't have to worry about it or however, you know. So you think of, of not only the big picture, but also the little things that nobody really thinks about. Like you said, gift cards for dinner. Right. Mom's right. not feeling well. Okay, let's 
uh, let's go use these gift cards and bring something home. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or let's, let's let mom sleep and we'll go, we'll right. leave. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the Linked by Pink is so, the girls get so close. Um, I remember we did a meal train. The woman was having um, a surgery and to keep it so she didn't have to cook for a week, we each picked a day of the week and dropped off dinner every night. Oh, how nice. And, you know, she had little ones too, and that was just awesome. That really is nice. Yeah. It's, like you said, it's the little things that just makes you feel so, so mm -hmm. good, and it's just such a big help. Right. It's a little thing, but it's a big, big help. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, Sarah, you have a lot of programs, and you offer a lot of programs. I do want to ask you first, you said you were diagnosed uh, and then COVID hit. Mm -hmm. How was Linked by Pink able to overcome some of the challenges of COVID and still keep in everybody's life and help everybody out? They were messaging us, um, whether it was through Facebook or if we had their, our cell phone numbers. We did Zoom meetings. I couldn't do a few of them, like I said, because of treatment, but they still did it. They still did the Zoom meetings. We all got on our laptops, poured our glass of wine, and we were <laughs> able to be together. It was really nice. Um, yeah, they still pushed through. People still sent in money because it was hard. Usually we do so many benefits during the summer months and last summer was just, you yes. know, and the local community just kept sending donations and it was really nice. Wonderful. What yeah. are some of the programs that you offer and can you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, the reason for all of these, each, of the, each program? Um, let's say... Oh, such as like the benefits in that? Uh, the monthly support meetings. Oh, I know oh, the different, oh, yes. different programs that you offer to those that are diagnosed. Mm -hmm. We meet on um, the first Wednesday of every month, and usually it's down at NovaCare, and hopefully it stays that way. We just had a meeting last month that was really nice. And we all get together. It's no children, no spouses, um, where the girls can just be themselves and cry if they need to or talk about you know like I have an upcoming mastectomy what what should I expect and it just makes you f feel better talking to somebody that's already gone through it do you ha do you feel these meetings help alleviate a lot of fears absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely because like, the unknown correct? right mm -hmm. yeah you're just waiting you know you hurry up and wait and talking to someone that's been through it you kind of know what to expect that I and I liked knowing what to expect when you guys meet with someone who is just newly diagnosed, first off, it's prob they, they are looking for someone to reach out to and they find you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the first time you're meeting. What do you look for, like when you're, you're meeting with them? How can we help them? Okay. Like, do they have lots of young children? Do they have college children? Uh, that kind of thing. Are they a single parent? Um, do they need rides to the uh, meetings? You know, because we could do that too. A couple girls will pick up another girl just so she can attend. You know, and if somebody doesn't want to meet at the meeting, we would meet with them for coffee or at their house, wherever they feel comfortable. Okay, and you have a have a, uh, we mentioned some, but you have a lot of different programs in place to help the patients and their families. What are some of those programs? Um, with the families, we well, the children we don't have much for like children to get in and, but we're looking into that because I had mentioned that because mine were so little. Um, we do have a spouse program on Facebook where the husbands or wives or, you know, because men can get breast cancer as well. Correct. Um, that they can meet or they used to have like a, um, but that was right before COVID, they stopped doing that where the guys would meet up for a beer. Okay. Just to, you know, the husbands, mm -hmm. even if they didn't talk about breast cancer, it was nice to get away for a while. Right, and they had, and, and they were with a group that were really going through the exact same thing right. that they were. I mean, you're, they were all going through the same thing together, right, at the same time. So mm -hmm. I think that that's kind of nice. A good support group really, really helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I know you had to do a lot of these things, uh, a lot of the meetings online. Mm -hmm. How are you now? Are you meeting now in person, or are you, you know, uh, online? in person still in person well we're back in person um we'll see how the COVID is going right now but mm -hmm. as of right now we're still all in person uh we actually have one coming up our september meeting is going to be at calamari's 
because we like to have, and that's going to be one where the husbands can come and um, our board members are coming so we can all meet each other and we like to do the fun things too, not just right. get together and talk mm -hmm. only cancer. So uh, yeah, that'll be nice. I know all of this costs money, mm -hmm. all these programs that we're talking about. So how are you able to continue your mission and assist those in the Erie community? The Erie community helps beyond belief. Um, we just had a fundraiser, um, the Terry Legrand fundraiser out at the VFW in McCain. Um, her husband had, she, Rob, had lost his wife last year and he said he was going, we had helped her out during cancer and he was going to make it an annual thing to raise money to donate to Linked by Pink. So it's people like that that do it. And he did an amazing job just raffling off everything, Chinese auction, door prizes. Um, it was amazing. So he raised a lot of money for us. Um, a lot of golf tournaments. We just had two that did um, fundraisers, Fox Run and uh, the Cockle Club. And they do it for their own personal reasons. Right. They had a close family member pass from it or and they raise money for us. What are some of the other fun annual fundraisers? I know COVID sort of put a glitch on some of them. Moving forward though, I know usually you guys have annual events. Oh yes, our annual one. What are your annual events that you have? Annual is the uh, bowling tournament we do, and that'll be coming up this year. Last year was canceled. Last year should have been the 11th. Um, or no, this year's the 11th. Last year would have been the 10th, but it was canceled due to COVID. Um, so everybody gets teams together. You pay so much to be a team. Um, yeah, and everybody gets like different themed t-shirts and it just is a really fun time. And we do prizes as well and gift baskets and it's a great way for the community to come together and all the girls get to have fun with everybody. And how important is Erie Gives to your organization? Yes, Erie Gives is amazing. We also made, a, they had donated a lot to us from that as well. Um, very important, yeah. There is one of the fundraisers that I honestly had never heard of, and I want you to tell me about this one. Oh boy. Dawn of the Deadlift. Oh yes. What is <laughs> Dawn of the Deadlift? It sounds wonderful. Yes. <clears throat> okay, it's at the Erie Fitness Academy over on Edinburgh Road. <laughs> um, the girls, it's mainly girls. Um, they, I believe they pay to see him or the, however much they can deadlift is donated and they do the same thing. That, <laughs> yeah. And actually one of our girls linked by pink sisters right now had done it for us last year before she even knew she had breast cancer mm -hmm. and she was one of them and it was awesome. Um, this year it'll be October 30th. And like I said, the Erie fitness Academy, I believe anyone can join just for the dawn of the deadlift. Okay. Yeah. So after you're lifting, yeah. you feel, but pretty much feel like you're dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dawn of the dead. And where does your money go? Our money goes to women 45 miles from Erie. That's our radius. Um, like I said, it can go towards their um, medical expenses, gas cards, because some people are choosing treatment outside of Erie. Um, <clears throat> Where else? Um, for our meetings, like when we do the fun things, it does go towards that too. Um, we had just had, we went on the scallywags down in Erie on, the, on the lake. That was really fun. Like I said, we try and do fun ones in the summertime to try, you know, so it's not just all cancer talk. So that was really fun, all of us to get together. Um, what else? Yeah, it goes towards our grants, medical expenses, that kind of stuff. Well, it sounds like you have a, you have a great network of of team members. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're you're really helping out. And I know it does cost money. So, I uh, viewers, if you're thinking of um, you know helping Linked by Pink, uh, go on their website. You know, you'll be able to see what events are coming up and how, exactly how you can help. But what are some of your upcoming events? Uh, the next two. we're still, fingers crossed, what are going to happen with, right. things are going to happen. <laughs> they are. 
Um, our next one is going to be Gannon University is hosting a virtual 5K for Linked by Pink. That'll be September 18th through the 25th, and we'll be posting that on our Facebook page soon. That's probably the best way to follow us is on Facebook, um, just Linked by Pink. And um, so that one, they donate money, and the girls and guys do the 5K and donate. It. They're wonderful. They've done T-shirt sales for us as well. They're really great. And then, like I said, the Dawn of the Deadlift will be our annual fundraiser October 30th. And For the Dawn of the Deadlift, how many usually turn out for that? Last year, I'm not sure. 30 to maybe 50? I, I can't remember exactly. You go, girls. Yeah, <laughs> they did great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, every organization really, really blooms with volunteers. Mm -hmm. Really a help. How, how can volunteers help you? They can, like if we set up at a Seawolves game, if they want to just be there to hand out pamphlets. We just, we're not there to ask for donations. We're just there to get the word out that somebody's there to support you. Okay. Yeah. So any, anybody could, anybody could mm -hmm. give you a call. Um, they could just call, call the office or email you guys. Right. Or even just message you on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Your Facebook page is great too because it keeps uh, everything up to date, everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. And we know. post our monthly meeting okay. and put reminders on there about that. And like I said, anybody's welcome. Um, yeah, but anybody that we would love to have volunteers, even if you say, hey, I could do two hours with you at the Seawolves game or, you know, just to hand out pamphlets or sell T-shirts, because a lot of people just want the T-shirts. We have a lot of clothing apparel. We're going to be doing a new order. Um, so, well, of yeah. course they want your T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. They're great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hoodies, and I think we're going to start a new order, maybe looking into like tank tops. You know, make it more fun because it is for the women under right. 45. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. women in their 20s, it's heartbreaking. But try and more geared towards that as well. Good. And uh, Sarah, what are some other resources that uh, may benefit our viewers? Uh, books, organizations, <laughs> Pennsylvania Breast Cancer Coalition, just different organizations like that. They can just do some research. Right. And I know there's a lot of books out there. I remember um, uh, I read a book. It was called... Uh, Sexy, Crazy Cancer Survivor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that book fun? Yeah, I've never seen that one, but I know what you mean now. That yeah. came out probably around 2008, 2009. Yeah. I know she, I think she wrote another one, mm -hmm. but that was the first one that, that I had read. And it, you know, it was really kind of a neat perspective. It was, she was a cancer survivor and gave me some great tips. Di and again, dietary tips, those are things that people need to know also, correct? Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, foods for while on chemo or mm -hmm. to keep yourself built up during the chemo, the protein in that, yeah. Exactly, exactly, because especially you're all young women, a lot, like you said, a lot of you have children. Right. You know, and some, you know, many of you are still working. Mm -hmm. You're trying to maintain your job and going through treatment. So it's, you know, kudos to all of you in Link by yeah. Pink. You're there for those that, probably you're in a situation they feel hopeless. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so um, Sarah, how can we help you? Um, like I said, uh, volunteering would always help us. Um, any donations or like just little things. We had um, two little girls that did a lemonade stand. It was adorable. Oh. And they raised like 1100 maybe more, dollars. Did they really? Through the lemonade, and then they had a little tip jar and said <laughs> it was for Linked by Pink. It was just little things. And the kids had so much fun because oh. someone in their family had been impact, impacted by it. And yeah, it's awesome. Well, you guys have grown. I can remember I did an interview with uh, Norman and I believe Heather too. Mm -hmm. And it was probably 2008, 2009 when you yeah. first started. So seeing, looking at your website and your Facebook page, seeing how you've grown, it just makes me feel so good because yeah. you ladies are there for a common reason and together you are so strong. Yes, yes, we say, oh, we hate to welcome you into the club, but it's, it's a good group of girls to be in with. There you go. <laughs> you hate to be part of it, but. But. Yeah, we're good. Uh, well, Sari, this organization, Link by Pink, does such a wonderful job for our community. Thank you for being there. Um, 
you've given uh, some of our viewers who are watching this may not have known you were there. They're right. able to tell a neighbor or a friend and have them reach out to you. So thank you for being there. Absolutely, thank you. And it was so nice meeting you. I really enjoyed having you in the program. Yes, thank you so much. Thanks for giving us the opportunity. Viewers, if you have any questions, check out their Facebook page or even their website, Link by Pink. Uh, you'll get a ton of information and find different ways that even you can help them. So thank you for tuning into the Milker Government Channel. Until next time, have a wonderful day.